Well, you might have noticed I've got rid of Richo and I've got Adam Swanson. Welcome to the kitchen. Thanks for having me, Rosie. Richo who? You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. What have you got for me today? Well, today I'm going to make a beautiful green and clean pasta salad for you. I love the sound of this. When I see all of this happening, I can kind of see how you got to your size now. Oh, come if you're on. eating your greens every day, that's fantastic. Yes, and pasta as well. Yeah, right? love Pasta's it. Pasta's a must in my household. Love it. Okay, so what are we going to do? What's We're this called? We're using the pasta today. So, okay. Okay. Meaning little ears. Love that. So this is a great pasta for pasta salad, but also with creamy pasta too, yeah? It works yep. really well. The creamy gets inside those little ears. Nice and versatile. Yes. We need to get this into the water. It's going to take about eight to ten minutes. Yep. Okay? Now remember, I always like to cook it al dente, so just firm to the bite. Yeah, beautiful. And if you forget all of that, it's always on the packet anyway, Very isn't true. it? true. Exactly. And what would you like me to do today? What I'd love you to do, so we need a nice clean salad dressing. So we're going to have one lemon zested and I'm juice. I'm all of this. All right. Clean, yeah, I was thinking green. about you. There's a theme happening here, isn't there? <laughs> olive oil, yeah. then zest that uh, so lemon for me. So good extra virgin olive oil, you've got it. A must. Bit of lemon, beautiful for detoxing there. Rich in vitamin C as well, so we want yeah. some of that in there. Well, my mum always gives me lemon when I go to upset stomach. Yeah, well, that know. citric acid can kind of help kind of cleanse and detox things as okay. well in there. So, um, nice. and the same with the veggies as well. So sometimes, you know, you know, the Italians as well, the Italian dish, they like their red wine. Let's balance that out with some <laughs> alkalizing greens because alcohol is acidic, so it's great to kind of have that balance of acid mm. and alkaline there as well. Very true. So we want this lemon in there, do we? Yes, lots of lemon. Love and what lemon. greenery have we got there? We've got some spinach, yeah, kale. Yeah, we've got some broccolini, spinach, kale, all those good things. <laughs> it's lovely because we've got a lot of um, different textures there as well. Yes. The, the kind of the, the bitterness of the kale and it is a little bit more chewy than the broccolini. Yeah, very It's true. lovely. A green medley, I like to call that. A green medley, a that's a green nice medley. one, Rosie. I've heard ah, that one. Oh, they've got a bit of a British charm on here yeah. now. What else have I got in my dressing here? A okay. bit of dill. Yeah, some dill, and we're yep. going to add some parsley also, and garlic, fresh garlic. I love fresh garlic, you yep. know. And for people that don't, another little tip is roast it. Stick it in the oven for about five, ten minutes, get that nice golden brown colour to it. It just gives them like a bit garlic. of nuttiness, yeah. Who doesn't like garlic? Yeah, the thing yeah. is, what I'm going to do as well is, I know you did ask me to uh, chop or slice it. What I am going to do, I'm going to microplane it because the smaller we make it, the more that, that active ingredient comes by. And this is an antifungal, antibacterial. It is nature's superfood, this one. So is this a typical Italian dish? It does stem from pasta di broccoli, which is orchette pasta with broccoli. So traditionally, it's the Italian wild broccoli that grows on the side yep. of the road. Um, it's a real peasant style dish, oil in the pan, garlic, so all those beautiful, you know, rustic flavours. But I thought, you know what, why can't we make it into a refreshing salad? I'm just going to add the broccolini into the pasta water so that can cook away. So a bit of uh, S&P, salt yeah. and pepper. <laughs> S&P. Just taught him that. <laughs> S&P. Lovely Love pepper, full of antioxidants, that pepper as well. Man, you're giving me knowledge here. So all these things I do eat are good for me. So I'll just chop up this dill for you as well. Lovely. Putting the kale into this bowl where our pasta is going to end up. So yep. the actual heat, residual heat, once that pasta is cooked, going into that with our kale and spinach, we're going to toss it through with some of that dressing. Yep. He's going to cook it down, get nice and soft, but still give us a little bit of a crunch. Once the pasta is cooked, we're going to add it into this bowl. You're going to finish off on the dressing, mix it all together. Okay, Rosie, our pasta is good, nice and cooked al dente, so straight out. Lovely. Strain off all that water. And have a look, there's our broccolini, nice and green, still got a little I'll bit, have of, a bit of that. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. no worries. For water, rather, might as well have that a crack. Broke. Yeah. Oh, lovely, a bit of salt in there as well. So a little bit of water is fine, right? It's just going to help wilt that kale down. Yeah, but not too much because yeah. you don't want to have that soggy salad. Okay, so we're just going to allow that <laughs> to mix that together. Round. I'll get you to add some of that dressing now. Now, reason yep. why, whilst it's hot, it's going to absorb all that beautiful flavour of the yes. lemon and the garlic. Okay. Go for it. That's it. Lovely. Yeah, nice. Oh, and the aromas now are fantastic. That, that garlic and the olive oil, the lemon zest. Mmm. Mm, divine. So as you can see, the kale is wilted down, the spinach is wilted also. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Just a touch. Yep. Okay. Just a little and a bit of cracked pepper. It's all right. It's nothing compared to Richo. I don't... I have to turn <laughs> my head to Richo. Really? Yeah. He's that bad, isn't he? Oh, I know. Okay, like so. Now, Beautiful. for me, grab this out. Nice. 
Look that at the colour. That is gorgeous. It really doesn't need anything else, does it? You know, it's clean, green, yeah. it's perfect. A little shine from that lemon and olive oil. A little bit of cheese for me, just to finish it off. Oh, a little bit of cheese as well, so we've got a bit of uh, feta. So a little bit of sheep's milk there as yes. well. So if you do actually struggle with cow's milk, you can try uh, sheep or goat and see if you do a little bit better with that. Definitely. But, uh, I find the sheep's a little bit more bitey, though, for me. It's all yeah, about yeah, the taste yeah. and getting a little well, bit of sharpness. There's quite a bit of sodium in this as well, but it is one of the, uh, the better lower fat um, cheeses. Don't Sorry, I mean, we really shouldn't talk that. about cheese nutrition when we're about to eat it, should we? It ruins, <laughs> takes all the fun out of it, doesn't it? Now, our dill, so just over the top, yep. a little bit like so. Maybe just a drizzle of olive oil to finish. And there we have it. You have massive brownie points for this. That is just a, a mound of greenness. So we've got a little fork, or you can have a little spoon there. I like spoons, it's a little bit easier. Now let me taste this perfectly cooked pasta with a bit of that greenery in there. Divine. Hot or cold. And I love the lemon dressing in there as well. I could eat a massive bowl of that. I really could. And guilt-free as well, which is a great thing. Good. Thank you very much, Adam. My pleasure.